<laughs> Meyer supporting dozen a dozen of boys and girls clubs across the Midwest. Here we go. The retailer is donating $1.2 million to clubs, giving kids access to resources otherwise might be out of reach. The funds are split between 24 clubs in places like Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio. This gift will fund development programs focused on health, academics, and leadership, and is part of their donation efforts at the end of 2021, totaling $6.5 million. Wow, it's a lot of money to support the kids in the communities they serve. All right, Todd, as you're well aware, you've witnessed it. I can barely make it down one ski hill, let alone this crazy record. A West Michigan skier and snowboarder broke the world record for most ski areas skied in just 24 hours, although their feet still have to be verified by Guinness World Records. Kyle Kelly and Brad Dykstra said they skied at 23 resorts in 24 hours. The clock started at noon Saturday when the two friends completed their first run at Nubs Knob in Harbor Springs. A friend set out to beat the previous record of 17 ski areas completed in 2017 by Terry Moore in Japan. And so they did document this journey, supposedly, and they're in the process of submitting it uh, to the Guinness World Records, as I mentioned. So their day ended just before noon on Sunday with a celebration at Cannonsburg Ski Area. Their poor little legs and everything <laughs> on their body must have hurt pretty badly. Awesome job. Good job, guys. West Michigan's largest home and garden show. Hey, it's back for the 43rd season with 11 feature gardens, five free seminar stages, and nearly 300 local businesses featuring every product and service you'll ever need all under one roof. This is the show for you. Hey, <clears throat> excuse me. The show takes place at DeVos Place. Tickets are $12 for adults, $5 for kids, and a multi-day ticket is also available. The show runs from March through 3rd through the 6th. And of course, this week on the Morning Mix, we're gonna showcase a couple of the businesses that'll be there too. Awesome, it's always a great time. It's nice to see fresh flowers when you're walking around. All right, a group of doctors and nutritionists are sharing a list of the best foods to eat to get a good night's sleep. Topping the list are almonds, which are a natural source of melatonin, which is a hormone naturally produced by the brain related to sleep and sleep cycles. I'm gonna stop eating those in the middle of the day now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Another item on the list, walnuts, which they say contains several nutrients that promote good sleep, such as serotonin. And actually magnesium too. Specialists also include bananas because they are rich in carbohydrates and tryptophan. Trip, tryptophan. Trip, tryptophan. That's the, no turkey, that's the turkey nap stuff. Oh, yep. oh yep. yes, that makes sense. All right, and other medications are chamomile tea, oats, salmon, eggs, and avocados, all those healthy fats. Mm hmm So, well, <clears throat> I'm going to not be so healthy with mine. Peeps, yeah. that's what I'm talking about, those little marshmallow treats. Well, they're celebrating Easter differently this year. They're going to let you customize your own candy for delivery. The company recently launched My Peeps. It's an option allowing customers to create their individual Peeps Chicks combos. You can choose the colors and the chocolate that they're gonna dip the marshmallows in. My Peeps will be made to order treats while supplies last. And they're also offering Peeps in flavors, new ones like cotton candy, fruit punch, and chocolate pudding, amongst others. I like the I like the uh, fruit punch idea. Yeah, it's kind of I wanna try that. Yeah, if you wanna check out some of these available candies, just go to their online store and you can check them out.